think he was okay for like Singaporean yeah, boy standard, but I just see okay, he's not my type. He's not my type. Heartbroken. You cannot just marry a person for looks. I mean, thankfully, daddy has looks and everything else. Oh. oh. You must love God. You must go to church. You must tithe. You must love your parents or something like that. And I was just like... Miracle. Miracle. Right. So welcome to episode no. two, and we are hanging out together with my beautiful daughter, Ines, handsome husband, Mark. Hi. I'm Sarah X Miracle. We're the Miracle family, or rather we are about half of the Miracle family. Uh, the younger ones are not with us. So this is our very special time that we get to hang out with Ines, and we are doing season one of our podcast that we are going to speak with Inez about all sorts of topics to do with relationships, our parenting styles. Today, we're going to talk about what she might think makes a good boyfriend. So we've been talking a lot about daddy when he was younger and about his hair, his dress sense, he's so handsome. And so I'm just wondering, Inez, whether having a pretty boy for a father, has that actually affected your perception of what you want in a boyfriend? Who, Timothy. in your opinion, is a pretty boy? Yeah, in who, Hollywood? in your opinion, is a pretty boy? Okay. Letitia is pretty. Is he? Tom Holland is pretty. Tom leave, Holland is a personality. Leave Tom thing. Holland alone. Tom Holland is short. Uh, leave Tom Holland alone. <laughs> some more, some more pretty. Leave example. him. Any more? Clearly, the database <laughs> isn't that big. All right. No, 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 no. Some of these Korean celebrities are pretty boys. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Orlando Bloom when he was younger. Oh, true, that's true. He's actually closer to our age. Okay. We love you. <laughs> Out of the whole criteria of choosing a boyfriend, how looks important is looks? Looks is only one part. Yeah, I'm just yes. wondering like how important How about is... his character? Yeah. Is he nice to other people? How um, about like his faith? Does he believe in God? Does he manage his money? You cannot just marry a person for looks. I mean, thankfully, daddy has looks and everything else. <laughs> oh. oh. I think that looks are an initial part. Of course, you must like looking at the person now. If you're going to marry him and then every day to stare That's at his face. That's what I've been saying. If I have a boyfriend, I want to like looking at him, you know, and be like, oh, he's so pretty today, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know that sometimes, right, like, you know, there's this saying that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, so? But there's a generic beauty standard, right? I mean... Yes, but my point is that the person will inevitably, if you really love them and they love you, they should become more beautiful in your eyes as Yes, I know, but like still. She cannot bear to look at somebody who she doesn't find cute. I think that's what she's saying. Pretty. Must be taller than you some more, right? Yes. Ines is 1.7 yes. meters, by the way. So if you are below 1.7 meters, I'm sorry, Emo boys, rice. you do not qualify. <laughs> rice. Eat more rice. Eat more <laughs> Go to the gym. <laughs> Does gymming help with height? I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, go on. Some more. Some more, yes. My friends must find you pretty as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do they also ask for your opinions on their boyfriends before they get together with their boyfriends? Yes. You mean they be like, hey, this guy quite cute. What do you think? Yes. Really? Yeah. And then you all have to approve? Yeah. What? <laughs> in the group wow. chat? In, in real life. I remember in like sec 2, one of them was like, guys, there's this boy I really like. Then did she, did she show a picture and I was just sitting there like... Making a face? Yeah, I mean, I think he was okay for like Singaporean yeah, boy standard. Okay, he, he's not my type. He's not my type. Heartbroken. Type. Yeah, so if he's not your type, but he is this other person's type. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, he's okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, our other friends really agreed that he voice. was like quite cute, but I was like, yeah, he's okay. So, what do they actually do with their boyfriends these days? Just study together. What do they do? They go out on like dates. Like do what? Eat at the affordable places, right? Yes, we visit each other's like houses. Mm -hmm. Get to know the parents. Very good. I don't mm. even know if. Well, if you have a boyfriend, the boyfriend is coming to our house. You are huh? not going to his house. Right, daddy? Mm. <laughs> Criteria number one, must get along with parents ah. and siblings. Hey, ah. parents more important than friends, right? If you come and get along with your parents, <laughs> so what if you get along with your friends? Dude. We are very nice people. <laughs> and sometimes they all go in a group together. Group date. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. Group, group, okay. What do they do? Just chill. 
Do you kids watch movies yeah. anymore? Yeah. But don't have many movies to watch. I can't keep watching movie every week, right? No, but this is what oh, we Oh, yes, so. yes. What? You have to watch Love the Rings extended version with me. <laughs> So, if you truly want to win a heart, you must be able to sit through three hours. Three and a half. Yes, per movie. Yes. And there are three. <laughs> it's a whole day. Yes, you have to watch through like nine people trying to destroy a ring. All right, so we have so far criteria for looks. We have criteria for must pass the friends mark. And then I think the pass the parents mark is not so clear yet, right? About- so right, when I was 12, I distinctly remember I was talking to you about this or something. And then you said, at 16, I'll let you have a boyfriend or something like that, which <laughs> never happened, by the way. Nobody worthy so far. No, I don't you have any opportunities 16. Did you agree this with me? You weren't there, you were out. Then like we were like low-key making a list of stuff. Oh, we of, did? Like, you, you know, like a 20, like listing. Of, okay, you're like, know. you must love God, you must go to church, you must tie if you must love your parents or something like that. And I was just like... Because of my own experience, I do find that most teenagers should develop an interest in the opposite sex when they're roughly upper secondary school, right? I mean, there's... Roughly around that. I mean, when you're primary school and like up a lower secondary school, you're kind of like had no interest. Trying to figure it out, but I think when you're like 15, 16, I think that's like usually when there's some interest. And but however, we have to get through the O level. So I think that was when you were twelve, if that was indeed true. I think that was my rationale. Like, okay, yeah, after O levels, I mean, because O levels is a very significant point. So you obviously have to steward firstly your own studies as a person before you can be ready to even do a relationship. I mean, if you can't even steward your studies, you can't even study properly, what time are you going to have for a relationship? My goodness me. Relationships mean. are very distracting. Very distracting. And then if they, like, you break up with the person, then you'll be in like heartbreak more, then you won't be able to want to study. Wow, then die already. Your study's gone. So, like, do you actually agree with what we say about, for example, like, no, faith? I well, I think this person should share the same faith with you and be as passionate about his faith as you are about yours, right? So it can't be, yeah, I go to church because I like you, but I actually don't really care. You should watch how he treats other people, right? How he responds to other people, right? Not you, obviously, because you will be like the apple of his eye, right? So but how does he interact with like your siblings, for instance? How does he interact with your family. Yeah. The is stuff, he a gentleman? Like, the does stuff he hold he's the door made of? Open? <laughs> does he hold the door open Does he you? hold the door open for other people behind him? Not just you, yeah. Does he do the sidewalk thing? <laughs> the sidewalk rule! <laughs> sidewalk <laughs> rule! So I think those are kind of like baseline character traits, right? I mean, apart from faith. So there's a faith aspect, there's, there's the character, a character aspect. character aspect, yeah. And I think there's a money aspect too, right? So we talked about how if the person indeed does share your faith, he should understand what it means to tithe. And even if that means just like tithing allowance, I mean, don't may, may not get very much, but, you know, eventually, like, you're all going to start doing work, right? Like part-time work or full-time work. That's the person actually knows what it means to have the principle of tithing 10%, first 10%. Does the person know how to actually save, you know, 20%, 30%? Does the person know how to live below his means and not be like, oh, I'm going to like... To keep on spending my money, keep on buying things, right? Because at the end of the day, like, the values of what this person has towards money is going to eventually, if you marry this person, kind of guide the relationship <laughs> and the entire marriage and your entire family set up. So having that agreement or rather having some baseline principles, of course, all these thoughts about money will develop over time and how you manage your money. We're not looking for the finished article, that's yeah, not, to be fair. Not, it will not be a finished product, but at least the baseline things need to be in a foundationary stage quite solid so that this person can then build on that foundation, right? Do you even do that with your money? I don't Yes, I got tithe. You give me the allowance a day, right? I went to tie them. And right after that, I was like, okay, let me open my UOB and go open the king <laughs> and then find out the Kingdom City you yeah. <laughs> well done. In a nutshell, character, stewardship of money. And besides all that, I think it's very important for a guy to have a very clear like vision and passion for himself because I think like guys who have a very clear passion and vision or at least something that they want to do with their talents, right? I mean, it shows that they can be driven and it shows that they can actually achieve things in life. I don't think you want to work with somebody or like date somebody who has like no direction in life. They don't know what they want to do in life. They have no ambition. They have no goals. 
I mean, what kind of person is that? I'm the, the bar one. you set is so high. <laughs> Nobody can jump. I'm for real, la. No one, no one can reach really, la. Am I so gonna buy? I'm gonna stay single. No, okay, so even if let's say he's a student, right? He needs to have, like, for example, to show that in his studies, like, he has a goal. Like, okay, I'm gonna, like, you know, have some goals for myself. Like, he must sure. have some, like, idea of what he wants, even if he's I, a student. I think, I think what you're trying to say is that you want someone who is not so uninterested in life, right? So that his, his sole purpose is not to date you. Yeah. <laughs> right? He's actually got... Other know, His stuff. own, he's yeah, got ideas right, of what exactly. he wants to do, right? Because the last thing you want is, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Oh, no, no, no. You do law, you decide law, you know, that kind of thing, right? You will get very frustrated, right? So I think it's important, not just for this person, but for you too. Exactly. Right? Even as much as we are kind of half joking here about like your potential boyfriend, right? Across the world, there's another family with a boy who is talking about his potential girlfriend, yeah, right? And they are true. saying, we want a girl who's sweet, we want a girl who ties, we want a girl who has an idea of what she wants to do with her life. And as do you have an idea of what you want to do with your life? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better work it out because... <laughs> No, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it uh, works both ways, right? Yeah, like you will eventually meet this boy's parents, right? And they will be I'm assessing scared. you as well, exactly. right? In a way. I mean, any boy who is worth his salt slash man, I mean, they will have a family that's also interested. His in the mother girlfriend. will be like, yeah, the can, mother can't will... let any girl marry my son, yeah, okay? Correct. Well, the mother will also be like, <laughs> hmm, who's this girl? Like, you know, and like, oh, what's she like? Hmm, what family she come from? And this is scared hmm, now. I'm scared. That's why we say that, you know, like not immediately going to dating, not that you should not date is, you know, but not immediately going to a dating surface, right? Allows you to work on yourself, work on being the best version of yourself that you can be, right? And with that... And uh, with that, we conclude this episode and we will do part two on the next one on when we think Inez would actually be ready to start having a boyfriend. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you next week. A lot of them are Orlando nice. Bloom when he was younger. That's true, that's true. He's actually closer to our age. He's very old now. <laughs> this. Orlando, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry.